So, Jade, I just got this uh, at the break from our real estate team. Uh, inventory on real estate is increasing year over year at a higher rate and is still well below historical averages. We still have a housing shortage, even though number of homes for sale has increased 67% over last year. The total number of unsold homes, including homes that are under contract, has increased only by 13%. Interesting. Newly listed homes are well below historical averages, and we are at 15.9% fewer homes being listed compared to last year. The median price of homes for sale has increased 7.8% in February, lower than January's growth rate. Okay. But we're up housing prices nationally, up January, up February, much like we predicted yes. when we did the real estate live stream last fall. We told you there was going to continue to be a shortage. We we're going to see a 7 to an 8% increase in prices in 2023, mm -hmm. and we are currently tracking for 7.8%. And uh, homes are spending 67 days on the market, which is 23 days longer than last year, but still shorter than most times in history when they run 90 to 120 days. I mean, if you want to compare the market to crazy town, which was 2020 and 2021 were things I remember when we sold our house. I mean, the Your got, timing the, to be a Ramsey personality and move from Miami was <laughs> incredible. Well, our real estate agent was apologizing because we only had eight offers. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just <laughs> slacking off right there. You know, it's like, sorry, we didn't get, you know, that day. The day of the open house. Sorry, you know, we only had four today and only only, only four the next day. So translation, <laughs> if you're not putting your home on the market because you think the market is slow, you're statistically speaking wrong. If you're not putting your home on the market because you're thinking the real estate market is down, statistically speaking, on a national average, you're wrong. So you great mean time the to sell sky a house is not when, falling? Great time to sell a house when the house, when the when there's a housing shortage. We have more houses for sale than we did this time last year, but again, we're still coming out the back of crazy town last year, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we we're we're returning to a more normal level of inventory with still more buyers than sellers. Still even with high interest rates, but the re interest rates do not drive the market as much as supply demand drives the market. Meaning, meaning the prices are going to go up as long as there are more buyers than sellers. There's a housing shortage. You're always going to see price. That's why we've got an 8%, 7.8% price increase or schedule. I mean, that's what we're tracking for annually. Now it's not 32% during crazy town, right? And that's what people can't get used to. So um, <laughs> I was on Megan Kelly's podcast the other day. <laughs> She's been a friend a long time. And she said, so what do you mean? I said, well, Megan, it's like if you're driving your car like 90 or 100 miles an hour and then you slow down to 45, it feels like you're, you're, like you're crawling. Yeah. And she goes, I've never had that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. She, I think she obeys the law. But yeah, there you go. So um, I just feel like we have short memories. As, as as American people, our memory is, is so we compare, short. We compare not to historical distance, you're right, but in, to what the last thing I felt last, like Friday. That's what it is. You We're know? basing it on pure emotion. And are we, you know, what are we hearing on the yeah. uh, god-awful news channel, right? Yeah, that's what it uh, is. Just telling us the world's coming to an end, world's coming to an end. If you didn't know the world's coming to an end. And you're going to die of a tornado, too, by the way. I just think that's a problem, though, when we, we're we listening to a talking head tell us something contrary to what our own experience is telling us, what our own memory should tell us. <laughs> yeah. And th the reason I put these this data out when I got the email at the break, I thought, you know, John Deloney talks about facts yep. are your friends. Yep. When you have fear or you're worried or whatever, facts are or your friends in the middle of an emergency situation, stop and analyze the facts. Facts are your friends. Facts What's the friends. real situation here? And what you most of the time run into when you do that is it calms you down and you say, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff and 
most everything that I'm worried about is small stuff in the That's scope true. of your life. Yeah. 